Hi Sue, uh, this is Mari. I'm here with Miguel and Angelica getting ready for our PTA meeting and remembering you. So um, I just want to wish you a good day. I want you to call me if you need anything. We love you. We miss you. We're very grateful and thankful for everything that you have done, not just for me, but also for the school, for all the families, for the students, for the community. We love you very much. Ready? Hi, Miss Sue, how are you? I just wanted to say thank you for everything you have done for Bonham. You have been such a wonderful, wonderful supporter. You know we love you here at Bonham. And hopefully we'll see you soon. And you're always welcome to come to Bonham. Thank you. Hi, Sue, this is Erica Tran, a principal at Bonham. I'm, I didn't get to know you very long. Uh, I know new to HISD, but thank you so much for inviting me to new uh, the teacher night out, uh, the, the national night out. It was awesome. I went to Pizza Patron, met Miguel there, made some uh, connections with Chenier. It was awesome, and it's all because of you. You're awesome a supporter of the community, and I really love that about you. Keep going, and uh, I know that you're going to do great things around here. Hello, uh, so um, we are so happy that you uh, involved us in PTA we want to thank you for not much but what we learned from you you went through all this trouble to get fundraisers and be involved in school and uh, be in the community well, we'll give you the thanks from Bonham Elementary from PTA from Maria from um, Angelica, from my part, uh, hope you feel better, and thank you, thank you very, very much for everything. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We love you. Hey, Sue. Um, Mr. Dominguez told me about uh, the situation, and uh, I'm truly heartbroken because the light that you brought to Sharpstown uh, is, is amazing. And the things that, that you have done for us, uh, the things that you do for our kids and, and your spirit and your go-getting spirit has been such a blessing to us. Sue, we love you. Uh, you have been one of the bright spots here uh, for, uh, for Sharpstown. Please take care of yourself. Please reach out to me if there's anything that you need, if there's anything that Sharpstown can do for you. We love you, Sue. Sue, uh, sorry to hear about the news. We're very uh, thankful for all the work that you've done for our program. Uh, and we know we will continue to support us and fight for us. Um, so thank you again. Um, and we're so thankful for the opportunity uh, to work with you. And uh, we wish you the best. Hello, Sue. Um, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for all that you've done um, for our community, for our school, for our students, and kind of, you know, putting the good things um, that Sharpstown is doing to the limelight of the community. Um, and, you know, just always being a positive influence, always bringing people to see the amazing things that we do. And uh, I just want you to know that um, we're with you. Um, and if there's anything that we can do to support you, your family, um, we're here for you. Mr. Lord, how you doing? This is Mr. Griffin at Sugar Grove Academy. We really miss you in the area. Looking forward to getting you back. Hope all is well for you. I would definitely keep you in my prayers. The kids around here, I'm pretty sure they'll be glad to see you walking around the neighborhood. We'll keep you in our prayer and always remember God's speed. God bless you. Hope you have a speedy recovery. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye now. Good afternoon. I want to say hello to you, Sue. I want to say thank you so much for all the work that you do for this community. I have to say that I'm very, I'm indebted to you for um, for coming and making my uh, my stay here at Sugar Grove very welcoming. Uh, you have definitely been a big part of the success that we're having uh, on this campus, and I really appreciate all of your hard work, dedication to this community, and. Um, just your work ethic and uh, and your the love that you spread around our building to ensure that our students get the very best that they deserve and to bring this community together. I think that you've done such a um, such a great job with uniting 
all of the community in the Sharpstown area where we see a big difference. And I think that we owe that all to you and we love you, we miss you. And I just wanna let you know, we, we greatly appreciate everything that you've done. Uh, and I know you've been doing this work for a long period of time, way before I was even here, but you've been able to come in and bring us all together to work on the same goal, and that is to make this community a better place. So I love you, I miss you, and I wish you well, and I, I, I just sent positive energy your way. Thank you. P.S. Sue, I also wanna let you know that very soon, in the 2020-2021 school year, Sugar Grove will become a fine arts magnet school. So all of that through your hard work, all of the, the, the times that you spent um, speaking to us about offering the, the things that our students needed to offer other than just academics, I wanna let you know that we have applied to become a school of fine arts and 90% sure that we will be the school in the southwest side for fine arts so we will be becoming a fine arts magnet that's going to grow our programs and i know that's something that was very near and dear to your heart so thank you Ms. Lloyd, sorry to hear about your illness hope you uh, get better all of our wishes and prayers for you uh, from this from this point on and thank you for your service to the community as well God bless you and thank you for all that you've done. Hi, Miss Sue. How are you doing today? Um, I'm happy that uh, I have given the opportunity to talk to you uh, of all parents that I met and be part of Sugar Grove. You are one of those people who really showed care for our children and uh, you wanted everyone to be successful and you are always there to help the teachers, to help the school and I'm happy for that. We barely see people who will come to school offer their time and effort to help and to assist each one of us. And uh, I would like to apologize. I wasn't able to see you last time because you know how school is, but I am a lucky person to meet you. And uh, I'm praying that God will bless you more because of your kind heart. If we could clone you, probably we could, so that there will be people and parents who will be there as part of our community, who is always sharing their time and effort. And thank you. Thank you for all the things that you have done for us. God bless you and uh, bless your heart. Hi, Ms. Sue. I miss you. We love you. Um, I have learned a lot from you. I have seen you know this past two years that we have been meeting together talking and you have been making a big difference on a lot of stuff here in Sugar Grove um, I just miss you thank you for everything that you have been doing for us and teaching us how to do it thanks good morning Sue I wanted to um, extend lots of love lots of thanks um, for everything that you taught me about your experience living in Sharpstown. I appreciate so much uh, you, the way that you think that you approach things, that you um, challenge people in a friendly way to look at things in a different light, to consider current day challenges of the area. and. I cannot express my thanks for all of the timeless hours that you put into the community, helping build up our schools, helping organize, helping inform people to volunteer and to, to inform people about the good news about the schools in Sharpstown and specifically Bonham, Sugar Grove and Sharpstown High School. Um, personally, I wanna thank you so much. Um, I really enjoyed getting to know you when we were block walking on my campaign. You've been a supporter of mine from the very beginning. And uh, we spent numerous hours knocking on doors and I just love your energy, your charisma, your wisdom. Uh, you are such a jewel, such a gift to our community. And I love you so much and I thank you. And I thank God for having had the opportunity for us uh, to meet and to get close over the last couple of years. 
You are an amazing, amazing woman. And I, I just love you so much, Sue. Thank you so much for everything. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, I just want to send you lots of love and lots of, um, lots of good spirit. You're an amazing woman. Our Sharpstown community and Houston is a better city because of you and all of your efforts. I love you so much. Last year, Sue Lloyd reached out to several of us who were involved with the publication of the SCAN, Sharpstown Civic Association newsletter, because she wanted to share the good news of what was going on in our community schools with our neighbors. A lot of us have had this dream for a while, but Sue was the one that made it happen. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of persistence to make a dream be a reality. Um, and I know the whole community is grateful to her. She is the kind of person that perseveres in the face of obstacles to make things really come to life. Thank you, Sue. Sue, this is Ken Davis, the Assistant Superintendent in Equity and Outreach in HISD. And I wanted you just to, I wanted you to take a moment just to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me and for us in our program and working with children. You've been an amazing, amazing support person and I truly appreciate your kindness, your open arms to welcome us and to always provide us that additional support in terms of sharing great things in the community about the work that we're doing. You are an amazing woman and I know that the fight that you're fighting is nothing more than another battle that you're going to cross and do just fine. I understand that it's, it's serious, uh, I do. And I just wanted you to know that you are in my thoughts and prayers and I pray that God has a special blessing just for you because you are truly a light for all of us and an example that I hope to esteem to be like one day. You're strong, you're passionate, you're motivated about the work that you do and you're never, and you've never stopped fighting for kids, for teachers, for the system, just to be, just to be in a better world for everyone. And I truly admire and appreciate the work that you've done. Thank you so much for all that you've done. And if you ever need me, just call. Thank you. Hi, so this is Miguel. Uh, I just want to thank you for everything you have been doing for me, for my family, for my pizza shop, for my employees. Since the moment we met you, we started doing amazing things with the community. You introduced me to Bonham Elementary, Magna Mara Elementary, Charleston High School, Sugar Grove Academy, and many other people uh, at the Houston ISD corporate. Well, not corporate, you know. And, and it's amazing how with your passion and your knowledge and your willing to serve, we became like a good team to work with the community. I'm very happy that because of you, Bonham Elementary has now a PTA. I was truly impressive for all the things that you have been teaching us about that everything is possible if we get together and we put a goal and we start to work to get that goal a reality. Uh, I remember the day I met you at the pizza shop. Uh, you know, I was at the Pizza Patron store and you came with your sweet voice, your beautiful blue eyes and start talking to me about if I can do some kind of a sponsorship or donation for the schools. And I was like, wow, yes, of course, I want to work with this lady because you have the passion, you have the willing to serve the community. And that's amazing because it's not for easy. It's not easy to find people like you. So you became a mentor to me. You became a leader to me and I'm very happy that we have been doing many things together. Uh, we found, we were founders together with other people uh, of the PTA at Bonham Elementary. I met incredible people there and I'm very proud of the goals that we set together and most of them are, become, are becoming a reality. 
Joe introduced me to many amazing people that has a true spirit of, to serve the community. The principals at Mandamara, the principals at Charleston High School, Bonham Elementary, Missionier, uh, Miss White. Now, uh, well, all that people, it's amazing. For example, Sugar Group Academy with this guy, uh, it's amazing, Orlando Reina. And all of them together make a, a big impact in my heart and soul. And I just want to serve, I just want to make a better world for all those kids that are attending those schools. And, you know, you inspire me a lot. You become a mentor for me, an example. And I really want to tell you that since we met, my, my life was way better and I became a better person just because of you, Sue. So thank you very much for all the time that you devote to me, for all the meetings that we made, for all the drawings, the notes, all the work that you did. I remember how when you invited me to participate in your driveway with, at the National Night Out, uh, I questioned you, well, okay, yes, of course I can donate some pizzas and I can be there with coupons, but how much people do you expect to receive on your driveway for the National Night Out? And you told me, well, maybe like 15, 18. And I told you, hey, Sue, why don't we do this in a big way in the parking lot of the pizza shop? We can invite the band to play, to performance at the, at, uh, the, the band of Charleston High School. Uh, and you, you, your eyes just were like, wow, and a new horizon, a new sea of possibilities came to your mind. And that Sunday morning, next day that of the day that we talked with, about this, you came very early on the morning at 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. to the parking lot, took measures. Next day, Monday, you became you came to me with a plan, with the drawings. These are the sides, we can put this here, this here. And you have a big plan to do that. And we did it. And it was a tremendous, successful event. And as an honor to you, I promise that I'm going to do that. Every year, the National Night Out is going to become a tradition in that parking lot every every year. and. You introduced me to amazing people that work on the city. Oh, my! I, I have no words to thank you because you, you became a mentor to me. We really love you. And of course, my employees and everybody knows that you are my personal angel because you came to my life and to enlighten it. You enlightened my soul, you enlightened my heart. And I really appreciate that, Sue. I will never forget you and I hope we can make more work together very soon and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you, Sue. We love you.